Welcome to Panther News. This week is star testing. Robotics is heading to Worlds and Mr. Aguilar shows off his car collection. Start testing begins this week on Tuesday. First up is English 1. We end the week with English 2. And after that, we have the biology and US history exams next week. So make sure you know where your classes are meeting this week. It has been a busy month for our robotics team. The Panther bots are once again heading back to the World Championships. We talked to the team earlier this week. Well, the biggest challenge is definitely 600 teams going there and like roughly 40,000 people attending the event. Um, another big thing is you're trying to work with the biggest people on FRC and Worlds because if they made it this far then their strategy is going to be beat you with like top score of like a hundred something and you just got to figure out a better strategy to overcome the top dogs. Biggest challenge is I would say it's definitely just the newer level that it's on because you're one of the best in the world now but it's crazy to play with some of these like super good, super crazy teams, you know, different strategies you've never seen. We're proving that no matter where we are, we can compete with every team that's going to be there. And we're not just going to be overshadowed. We're not going to be the people who are left behind. We're going to come there and make a stance and be like, no matter where we are, we're still the Lufkin Panther bots. And we're going to con contend with whoever wants to try to contend and compete. Our Varsity Women Choir also received straight ones at the UIL concert and sight reading competition. Lufkin High School Criminal Justice Competition team did well at the recent Texas Public Service Association State Conference. The team completed against 600 other students. Jonathan Yanas got first place firefighter agility course. Our SWAT team received second place honors and James Pittman finished third and first in fire search and, and rescue. Now to Sierra Harris with weather. We are starting off the week with a warm sunny day with a high of 78 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. As the week continues, the rain chances will increase, so bring an umbrella until the weekend. There's also a chance for thunderstorms on Thursday and Friday. We will be ending the week with some partly cloudy weather for the weekend. Thanks, Sierra. Now let's look at what we have on the school calendar. EPOA will have their national send-off next Monday, and then we have the superintendent breakfast. Welcome to sports. Our boys and girls track team get to compete for area titles. Last week, both squads had strong showings at the district track meet in Humble, with the boys finishing first overall. I went out and talked to Kobe Kovar and Chip Buchanan. The two seniors were part of the Thunder and 13 baseball team, and now that that team has been named on the top 100 baseball teams all time in Texas. Man, it's, it's, an, it's amazing because, uh, you know, we're stuck in Texas, and, you know, I play for the team, and just to see a book with the top 100 teams from Texas, mm -hmm. and, like, that's just, that's a lot of teams, and we're in there, so we're in there both times, and so it's just, uh, it's a big deal to me, and I'm for sure a big deal to the entire team. Also. No, it's, it's a privilege, really, just to see us and the team and all the hard work we put in, like, be recognized, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm just grateful to be able to represent the city and the state. So. Okay, absolutely. And this week's entertainment, did y'all hear about Taylor Swift? She is now on the market after her recent breakup. Hopefully we can expect a new breakup album soon. In movie news, the Mario movie continues to stay on top of the box office. And another good movie is Air, where this, which is a story about Michael Jordan's basketball shoe. The countdown is on for seniors. Last week, the class of 2023 had their class photo, and the seniors that are attending SFA and Prairie View A&M had their signing day. Good. We're looking for Miss Jacy Carpenter. 
Yeah, yeah, come on in, come on in, come on in. <laughs> JC, Miss Walker from Chick fil A has something to uh, present to you. Yeah. Yeah. And congrats to JC Carpenter. The senior was surprised in class by a Chick fil A with a $1,000 scholarship. With school almost over, we wanted to see what you, your summer plans were in this week's Panther Picks. What are your summer plans? I'm going to go to college and maybe play some ping pong. Uh, probably go to Mexico. Just vacations and more stuff, I guess. Um, to attend um, summer camps uh, out of town. Yes. Um, I'm really just gonna be at the house. Uh, I might, I might get a job. It all depends on my dad. Oh, let's see. Well, for the bulk of the summer, I'll be teaching two different blocks of summer school. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, however, I'm gonna be enjoying a friend who's coming from Columbus, Ohio. Um, yeah, just working, getting to the money. This week, our featured teacher is Mr. Aguila. The robotics and engineer teacher spends time outside of school collecting cars. So, um, the reason why I have these cars are because I'm, I buy a car for um, my nieces, my nephews, and of course my kids, uh, because I want them to be passed down. Uh, uh, as the generation goes, I don't want them to be sold, I want them to be, to be kept in the family. Uh, but originally I started working on older cars and buying them because of my oldest brother that passed away. He kind of inspired me to, to work on them. Uh, I used to not want to work on older cars because I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, but with his help and his encouragement, um, he, he really uh, pushed me to start uh, working on them and uh, figuring things out, not being afraid, especially if it's your car, if, you're, if it's your personal belonging. You might break a thing or two uh, in the process of, you know, trying to fix it, but you can always go back and uh, replace it. Uh, it's a learning, it's always going to be a learning experience uh, fixing these old cars. Of course, the newer ones, you know, they they have a lot to them. Uh, but I I prefer the older models. Uh, they have some some stuff that is pretty uh, has a little bit of technology involved in it. But yeah, the uh, I, I like these older cars, and the reason not and the reason why I genuinely did it is because I like to buy them and give them to my family members, uh, mostly my nieces, my nephews, um, and stuff like that. Keep, keep them in the family. Uh, that way they can have something uh, a little older when they drive to high school and opposed to having um, something electrical like everybody else has, they'll have something unique. And that is it for this week. Panther News is a production of the Lufkin Audiovisual class and until next time, make sure that you follow the Panther way. <laughs>